Hi guys, Micro here. A bit of a different video this time. I'm going to be testing out Wilderness PKing in 2K19. I'm not really talking about PKing as in like PvP fighting one another. I'm talking more about PKing people with demonic skulls in the wilderness for 500k GP every time they die. And I want to find out how much I can actually make doing an hour of each activity killing people for their skulls. So there are three main places where people go with demonic skulls to get additional XP. The first one is the far northwest and that is the agility course. Right here people use the demonic skull to get a hell of a lot more agility experience an hour scaling with their level. The second one is rune crafting. The rune crafting is right near the wilderness edge. So you really don't have to run far to get away from a PKer. But essentially people use a demonic skull to get very high XP rates in runecrafting. But it is possible to get PK'd run into the Zami wizard by people waiting there. Then lastly, one that's fairly new is the charming moths in the wilderness since the hunter rework. This is actually the best hunter experience in the game now when you're wearing a demonic skull in the wilderness catching charming moths. This can be teleported instantly out of as it's just under 30 wilderness, but if people are AFK, they can get killed pretty easily by PKers and they'll lose their skull and lose their 500k. So in this video I'm going to try out these three methods and see how much money I make doing each thing. Let's get right into it. On screen is my loadout. I went with a loadout that typical people would use. I'm not going to go with like anything crazy because people don't want to risk too much in the wilderness. I also have tank armor which is sea singers in case I encounter any other PKers. That way I can use actual PKing gear and not just be glass cannon and only be aiming for the demonic skulls. I don't want to die to other PKers. Then I have a chaotic staff which is a tier 80 staff that is augmented with mobile and crackling. The reason why I have crackling on there is because it can be a bit of extra burst damage against the people with the demonic skulls and then mobile obviously so you can chase them down. Inventory setup's pretty self-explanatory, some brews, some food, some super restores, overload, adren pot, and teleblock runes and normal air runes. I also have a sword and a shield so I can barge and I can resonance. That's essentially it for the setup so let's get to trying. Something that's really cool with this method now is that you can hop as many times as you want and you'll never get that message where you can't log in for 5 minutes because they've updated their servers. You can hop a hundred worlds back to back to back and never get disconnected. You can hop as much as you want now, which actually makes this pretty viable. Now it's time for me to hop and try and find some people to kill. Oh, my first victim. Let's go, let's go. Wow, he is so low level. What the hell? That's done. That was easy. More like that, please. Oh, hello, friend. Let's go. Wait, he's aiming for the wizard. Come on, teleblock, teleblock. <laughs> we hit him in time. All right, he's gone. Another 500k. Yes, he's going well. Let's try it. Get him. Can we kill him? Is he... Did he give up? Is he just staring at us? Another 500k. Thank you. This guy's level 29. I thought it was an actual person, but he doesn't have a demonic skull or anything. I think he's a bot. Another level 29. Interesting. Let's examine him. Yeah, 35 defense. Like... 57 room crafting, probably just doing gnats or something. Definitely a bot farm of some sort. Teleblock, nice. He can't get out, he can't get out. Have we got him? No way! He survived on 190 HP because I splashed that last hit. Oh my god. Sit down, you suck. <laughs> JK, I love you. <laughs> okay. I'm just trying to make a video, okay? I'll put a smiley face. We're happy. This is the only issue with PKing demonic skulls at runecrafting. It's literally what, like level 6 wilderness? You can just surge back and if you've anticipated beforehand you don't even get stunned. You only have such a small time frame to kill them and you can't even use thresholds half the time because even with an adren pot you just can't get to 50% unless you hit a couple of basics. It's very hard to kill them in the time that you are given if you can't stun them or if they don't panic or if they surge. It can be very, very hard to just get that 500k. Did I get him? Did I get him? What? It gave him a gravestone because he was one step away from the wilderness wall with his surge? Man, rip my 500k. There we go, another 500k. That one took so long. I got three at the start really early and now I've got one in like half an hour. The thing with this method is you hop world, you get in, you get your tele block ready, you're good to go kind of thing, you get your prayer up and you just have to wait. 
Because they could be banking, they could be making their runes. Like, you're going to have to wait a good, like, 20 seconds to see if anyone's even here. It wastes so much time if no one's runecrafted in this world. Just because you can't just instantly hop in, instantly see if someone's there, kill them, or fail to kill them, and then repeat. It's more waiting than anything, and it's definitely the most boring one. Jesus Christ, it can be so boring. Hopefully the other ones are more interesting. Let's try it. Holy moly, this guy has the right idea. He instantly teleported with his wilderness sword. Now that guy was on top form. That is it, there's my hour up. I managed to get 2,020k. Not bad, I guess, but for an hour, you might as well just do runecrafting. It's five times better. Now it was time to hop around and find people with charming moths to kill, and let's test out this one. I managed to find a guy early on at just under four minutes, get a quick kill, get a quick 500k. They do bring food here though, so it's a bit harder to kill these ones. But they have a long way to run, so this should net me with a decent amount of money. One kill in four minutes, let's see if I can keep up the pace. Coming from the south makes more sense, because people are going to run downwards, so there's no point in me coming from the north. There they are. Quick telly block and DPS him down. I think this guy is pretty AFK. I, yeah, I'm just gonna kill him then. Whoa, I didn't even need, wow. Well, he died quick. Super restores, rock towers, rings, another 500k. Wow, I've already made half of what I made in six minutes. Okay, well this is going much better. I know there's gonna be so many comments like, oh, you only made this, you know, video on charming moths so you could make money PKing people. But no, that's not the reason. <laughs> like, it is the best hunt race to be in the game, but if you're using a demonic skull for that 20% more XP, PKers can come PK you. And if you're not paying attention to, you know, teleport straight away, you're gonna die. So just pay attention, get that amulet of glory going, and you know, you're not gonna die. So yes, I'm probably gonna get called a scumbag for making this video, and I expect a lot of people to maybe dislike it or just get annoyed by it, but it is the wilderness at the end of the day, remember? And the reason why this can be so high XP is because you can die doing it. It's 20% more XP. If you keep dying, just sacrifice to 20% more XP and don't wear a skull. Anyway, I've only killed two people so far in seven minutes. I have made a mill though, so that's pretty nice. If we can continue this, this is going to actually be some okay money. But then if everyone just starts doing this, then people are just going to stop wearing the skull. So there is that as well. You just need to remember that, you know, not everyone's going to be wearing the skull. I've already come across two people that aren't wearing the skull and I've kind of just let them skill. No point in PKing someone without a skull because you literally get nothing from it. And I don't want to be one of those people. I'm only going to PK people with a skull. There's no point in PKing anyone else. There you go. That guy knew. He teleported instantly. And that guy had it, dude. That guy knew what he was doing. That's what everyone needs to do. Get ready to teleport instantly. You ain't going to lose out on much XP. And you're not going to die. See, there's a guy right there chilling. He has no demonic skull. There's literally no point in BKing him. Might as well just let him get his XP, you know? That guy's getting 20% less XP, but he's not going to die. So that's something. Next one. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Come on. I think we got him. 500k, please. Thank you. No demonic skull, no point in PKing him. He teleported away anyway? Oh, and now I just feel bad. I wasn't gonna do anything to you, my man. Like, I didn't, I didn't mean to make you teleport. Sorry, dude. Torstal incense sticks, how many? 21, oh, that's some extra money, nice. Got an extra 200k, all right, I'll take that. Nice, that was good. I'm gonna go bank, because I have a lot of stuff on me and I don't really want to lose it. So what I'm gonna do is I'll just use my glory and go to Edgeville, because you know, you can from this and bank it and come back. Double skull. Oh my god, really? Are they both AFK? <laughs> okay, they're definitely not AFK. Man, I had to choose one of them. They weren't both AFK. Well, I got 500k. Wait, is that all I retaliate? Did that guy just give up and punch me? Like, is he Is he not about that life? He has a game necklace. I don't think that teleports you, my man. Do game necklace even teleport you at this wilderness? I know the glory does. I'm just going to test it. No. Why did you have a game necklace, man? Get an amulet glory. Oh, there's another guy. Hello, friend. There's no way you're getting away. Wild magic, let's go. Ooh. Now I can go bank my 1.5 mil. Thanks, fam. Take it be here. <laughs> Another one. Let's do it. Time to a pot wild magic. Oh, I love it. You love to see it, dude. You love to see it. I got so much food. Damn. <laughs> I global deal with a wild magic, but you had so much food. Goodbye, mate. Is this guy going to die? He's so AFK. What the hell? Oh, that guy needs to pay way more attention in the wilderness, Jesus Christ. 
Oh, he's actually praying mage. Not many people do that. Right, so we Dragon's Breath to get the Protect from Magic off. We have Dreaden Pot. We get the Wild Magic now that he doesn't have it up. Oh, he's nearly dead. Did I get him? Come on, die, man. How are you not dead? Get him. Ah, he's dead. <laughs> Something that's actually really cool is if you use a Dungeoneering Cape in your preset, you can actually use that to teleport to the Calgarian Resource Dungeon, which is right near the Charming Moths, so it saves a lot of hassle, especially when you're banking money or whatever. I've literally seen no other PKers here. So like when everyone's like, oh, there's so many PKers, it's like there really isn't. It's just me. Like I've seen no one. Even when I was doing runecrafting, I saw no one. Uh, there was no one in the wilderness and then you made this video. Now everyone's in the wilderness and we're just fighting each other. We're not even going for skulls at this point. I'm getting sea singers. Oh, there's another one. Get him. Wolfman29. You're getting it, man. Goodbye, friend. What's he doing? Hello? What are you doing? Are you trying to tell him? Oh, he's, he's dead. Goodbye, friend. He dropped everything. <laughs> Does he think I'm not going to PK him for his skull if he drops a super restore flask? It's okay, man. I'm going to take your super restore flask as well. <laughs> oh, hello, friend. There he is. Rage quit 30. Are you going to rage quit after this one, man? He's AFK as hell. Oh, no, he typed nice. Noose. That guy did legit rage quit. Look what he put. He went into my clan chat, went, nice leader, you guys. Have tell him to come PK again at Charming Moths. Laugh my ass off. Nice 500k loot, OMG. So one of my clan mates at the time was like, oh, he's making a video on it because I wasn't in the clan chat channel while in the wilderness. And then he hit him back with the, yeah, waiting for that video to downvote it. Dude, why? What the hell, man? I'm just trying to do unique content. It's just funny. Like, imagine everyone on old school being like, oh, yeah, good job. You killed those green dragon farmers. You know, they're in the Waldy. It's fair game. You just made 10 mil. That's sick. RS3. No, my 500k. You're the devil. How dare you PK me in the wilderness? Ah, like, I don't understand. It's the wilderness, man. If you die, you die. Like, come on. Ho, 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 skull. Another one. Give me. Oh, this guy, AFK. What? There's the... I mean, like, if this is the type of people that complain on my video about being PK'd, then they deserve to get PK'd. Like, they're so AFK. It's the wilderness. Just stop. I was one of those AFK people. I can't even AFK in peace on the wilderness anymore. What does RuneScape 3 come to? I'm quitting. <laughs> like, okay. See, he knows what he's doing. Oh, here we go. Hello, friend. Oh, he's dead. Oh my. Well, there we go. We hit our hour and we have 5 mil in our coin pouch, 2 million 610k in our inventory. That is a hefty haul from those. We got 7.61 mil plus 21 Torsto Incense. So that's like 7.9 mil nearly. Now that is pretty damn good. I expect a lot of people to just get angry, but uh, they're fair enough, I guess. <laughs> All right, so now the Wilderness Agility Girls is the weird one because I don't know where to log in and out. I doubt many people are going to be using a skull on the Wilderness Agility, but I can try. There's a skull, but he's over there. How do I get there? Like, oh, he's hopped. See, that's like uh, how... Uh, it's hard. I found someone. Oh, he's, he's going to do the ladder trick. Here he is. Right, as long as I keep him in combat. Did I kill him? Come on. Did I? Oh, I didn't go over him. No. He might, he's going to get away. This is so dumb with agility, man. That's what I mean. This is what i done on Nubra. I remember doing it to people. Like, he's just going to lobby. Yeah, there you go. I've done this. I done that exact thing on Nubra. Like, it's so easy to get away from PKers at the agility course. Like, there's literally no point in PKing here. They have so much food because they're doing agility as well. Like, they have a full inventory. Oh, they didn't lobby? Wait, wait, wait. They lobbied. <laughs> And now they're just going to lobby up here. I 100% know it. Can I hit them before they lobby? All right, I hit them. Oh, oh, come on, Titan, get them.
Yeah, they're gone. Like, what? It's impossible. I found someone. Hit them. They lobby. Ugh! All right, this is so impossible. <laughs> I'm, I'm done with the wilderness agility. Like, this is, this is not going to happen. 20 minutes and I've seen a couple of people, not many, and they've all got away because it's so easy. That'll be it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. I know it's a bit of a different video and it's PK and then stuff and it's probably going to get a fair few dislikes. So if you did enjoy the video and you thought it was entertaining, please do give it a like because it will mean a hell of a lot to me. If you want to see more unique videos like this in the future, just let me know. I'm down to do it at Lava Strike Worms and stuff like that as well. Could be quite fun. But what I took out of this was Runecrafting was okay, but it was pretty boring as you had to wait around a lot. And a lot of people got away because it's so easy to, because it's so close to the Wilderness Ditch. Hunter is pretty damn OP and you can get a lot of money there. And agility is practically impossible if people know what they're doing, so don't even try it in my opinion. Either way, hopefully you did enjoy it, and as always, until next time, see ya.